Hello, Red Eyes here. This video is about minecart grinding with pistons. So you're probably asking why would I want to do this? Well, you can use it for long distance mob collection, which also gets the items. You can use it for display grinding, as I like to call it. And I guess that falls under the category of fun. So the pros with this system is you get 100% of the items. Uh, it has fast transport, so it's ideal for collecting slimes and squids that spawn at the bottom of your mob traps. And it's safe for the minecarts, and it doesn't use as much water. So if you don't like having lots of water around, I guess this is a slightly uh, safer option. And also, it's a bit different. So the cons of this system are it is slow. It is complicated and it is very expensive for a mob grinder. To build a minecart grinding system, you need several components. You need the rail system with lots of powered rail. You need a mob softening device so they don't have to spend too long in the grinder. You need a grinder or a crusher. And you need a way to separate the carts and the items. And you also need a speed regulator. So basically a Pez hooked up to a clock so that it doesn't run too fast and get clogged up. So there's a few simple rules for this. Basically you want to keep mobs off the tracks and no fucking chickens allowed anywhere near. Okay, so I just want to quickly show you the mob softeners before I show you the uh, crushers. And basically all they do is consistently bring the mobs down to uh, one heart or something like that. So they spend less time in the grinder. So as you can see, I just have uh, this track which goes up and down. I've shown this in a different video called Fast Mob Cart Grinding. It's the same setup. And uh, you need the glass here so the mobs don't take damage. Um, this block doesn't have to be glass. This one doesn't. But above the rails, it does have to be glass. So I'll just show you how the softener works. I'm at uh, full health as I go through. By the time I get to the grinder, in there, I'm down to one heart. So that's the combination of those four lavas and uh, these two floating blocks placed above the rail. And the water is there to extinguish them and make sure the damage is more consistent. So this is the spider version. And as you can see, the lava is beside the rail because the spiders are wide and they're not tall enough to hit the uh, lava above so it's uh, on the side and you can see at the end of this instead of having the blocks on the side they are uh, I mean above the rail they are on the side and they take damage rubbing across those two uh, wooden planks So just to give you a good look at it, you can see where the uh, signs are, kind of holding the water away from the rail. And uh, if the rail is going up, you can put a glass block directly above it, like so, but not if it's going down. And you may be thinking, why not have a uh, long slope covered in lava? And that's because it burns the carts and I've experimented with different spacing and you have to make it just really big if you have it uh, slanted. So now for the interesting part, the crushers, the grinders. So I've made two, but they basically do the same thing. They, you know, remove all the air and uh, whatever's inside is crushed. So this one uses two pistons coming from the side, one above the other. It's for the tall mobs, but I'm sure it would work with spiders. But uh, seeing as I had a different 
system already set up, I made a different one for spiders. And this one crushes them with the, the two blue blocks, which form the same role as the two sandstone blocks in the other design. So in both cases, you have to spend some time messing around with the, the delay times. You'll probably, probably need more than you think, because it takes um, a fair amount of time for the minecart to go over the d detector rails, which are uh, above that wooden plank. And the reason I have it back there is so I can have all this powered rail to just really make sure the carts um, fall down the gap. <laughs> so it's totally unnecessary. But actually, when I had the powered rail closer, it was too close and I would have had to send the repeaters um, far away over there and then kind of it would have to loop round. So either way, you'll need lots of uh, delay. And then it's just a matter of getting the timing correct. I won't go into too much specific detail because I'm sure there's uh, better designs out there. So the main thing about these is the two pistons on the bottom are inverted compared to the crushers. So what that means is they're closed while the crushing is taking place. So the items don't fall out of this uh, tube here. So it's quite important because if it was open, like when I first tested it, and they're getting crushed kind of at the same level as this rail, I would get items on the rail. And that just stops everything. The piston can't push the minecart past a item. So it's uh, good to know. And on the same note, uh, for this spider one, or anything with spiders, you need to um, put blocks in the corner so the items don't um, fall out because the part of the spider is poking out into the corner and uh, the items can end up here. So theoretically the items could end up on this powered rail, but I haven't seen it happen. And um, I'm not sure if there's a workaround. I'm sure there is. I mean, so probably just have to use more pistons. So you can see this one opens and shuts twice, or three times even. And that's because uh, the signal comes around here, you see, and it turns on this clock. And this is quite a fast clock. I'll just show you, or I won't show you because it breaks everything, but you'll see here. So it just pulses a few times, and that kind of rapidly opens these, or closes these two pistons. And that uh, crushes anything inside. So, yeah, I might do a more detailed uh, video on these crushers at uh, some point when I get a very good design. I'll have to do more testing just to make sure there's no clogs. And uh, yeah, the thing I forgot to mention is the item separation. So the items uh, fall down here, same with the carts. They're then pushed into this hole. The cart is held, the cart is held up by the ladder. And um, is then pushed onto the rail, whereas the items fall down into the uh, stream below. I don't know, I, can I get them in from here? I don't know. Well, you get the idea. And that's about it. I'm sure you're wondering if this works with um, all the different mobs. I have not tested it with um, chickens and pigs and cows and sheep. I think. And both of these would work fine with um, chicken, no, not chickens, anything but chickens. <laughs> it would work fine with sheep and cows, but I'm not sure about pigs and uh, wolves. So further testing is required for the uh, uh, 
usefulness of these devices. So I may as well just run this. Here's the uh, PEZ dispenser. It's uh, piston based, hooked up to quite a slow clock. So there are no clogs. But uh, yeah, it is fine. So there it goes. Okay, I have the override on, so I'll just flick this switch. And we'll just watch it crush some, some mobs. So you'll see the, uh, there's one coming across now. And they fall down. And then it crushes them. The items are pushed through on the next uh, stroke. So I guess the last mob to go through, you probably wouldn't get his, his items. And uh, yeah, that's it. So crush, crush, crush. This could also be hooked up to a clock. Um, yeah, many options available. But the main point is you want your items. So at the bottom you'll need some kind of uh, arrangement like this. Just to push the carts out and uh, the items at the same time. So I guess that's it for now. Um, yeah, one thing that's kind of annoying is the minecart bug. And what that is, is um, if you go over a jump, off a little jump, like here, you won't take any damage until the next time you go off a jump. So that's not really a problem. But this is what I want to be using it for. And I want to be sending them all the way down there. And um, with this bug, it's not possible. So it's a bit annoying, seeing as I've built everything. But uh, perhaps there is a workaround. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, please let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to make a tutorial. I probably will make a tutorial once I get a, a very fast version of this. Or maybe an array of them. Like a few of them uh, in a row. And of course trying it with the uh, friendly mobs. And bringing up some slimes and all the rest. So lots to do. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video. Bye bye.